Welcome to the Creating Rubrics demo. In this demo, you will learn how to create a rubric. If you already have a rubric created and want to use it, please view our attaching and grading assignments with a rubric demo. By the end of this demo, you will have created rubrics and have them ready to use to grade your assignments. First, log in to your D2L Brightspace account and go into your course. On the course navigation bar, click on the Other Tools drop down menu. Then choose the Rubrics link. Click on the New Rubrics button. Under the Properties tab, in the Name field, type in the name for the rubric. In the Status drop down box, notice that there are three choices. Draft, Published, Archive. Choose Draft if you want to make changes to your rubric. Choose Publish when you're ready to make it available to your students. For now, I will choose Draft. In the description box, type a description of the rubric. Example, Grading Rubric for Speech Assignment Number 1 on Human Anatomy. In the Type dropdown, Leave it set as analytic. Then, in initial number of levels field, enter how many columns your rubric will use. In the initial number of criteria field, enter in how many rows your rubric will use. I will use 4 and 3. Under the scoring method dropdown, leave it set to points. For more information, click on the What Are Scoring Methods link under the drop-down box. Then click the Save button. Under the Levels and Criteria tab, click on the drop-down arrow next to Criteria. Then click Edit Criteria Group. This will give you all of your column and row level headings to edit at once. Let's edit the level names to Excellent, Above Average, average, below average, and set the points to 33, 27, 24, and 16. I'll change the criteria names to Article Choice, Mechanics, and Eye Contact. Then click the Save button. Notice the changes are reflected in the rubric. Notice that the highest number of points will be to the left, if you want to reverse this order, click on the Reverse Level Order button. Now that we've built the criteria and level names, let's fill in the rubric. Click on the drop-down arrow next to the first criterion, and click the Edit Criterion option. It will open a page where you can fill in the rubric text for that row. In the Description column, enter in the description for how the students will be graded at each level. I will make the levels Strong Relevance, Some Relevance, Weak Relevance, and No Relevance. Then click the Save button when you are finished. See how the criteria shows up in the rubric. Repeat those steps to fill in each criteria. Notice the bottom line of the rubric shows the overall score and it shows how many points are required to obtain that level of the overall score. When you click on the drop down arrow next to the overall score, you can change the number of points required to obtain that overall level by choosing Edit Levels. Make sure the rubric score matches the max score for the assignment. If the assignment is worth 100 points, make sure that the rubric is also worth up to 100 points. Edit the level names and points range to match your grading system. When you're finished making changes, click the Save button. If you want to add more criterions or levels in the rubric, you can add more by clicking on either the Add Criterion or Add Level icons. Select Close when you are finished making changes to your rubric to return to the rubric list page. Notice that the status is still shown as draft. You will have to change the status of your rubric to published before it can be used.
you have now successfully created a rubric.